Courage, Connection and Badassery is an event taking place in June that features some inspirational speakers including the truly incredible Tidia Pitt. Coach and co-founder Paula Gosney is here to tell us all about it. Welcome Paula. Thank you. Yes. Thank you for having me. A pleasure to have you on the show. First of all, tell me, what is this badassery you speak of? Badassery. <laughs> badass, badassery is the verb of a badass. So I think a lot of us or many people can't really identify with being a badass that feels too far away but we all have moments of badassery True. you know when we are a little bit rebellious and that's what we're really trying to do is celebrate that rebellion like when I took a photo of my dog beside the no dogs allowed sign yeah. on Upanaki Main <laughs> Street over Easter yeah because yeah. the space especially as women that we, we're asked to occupy I think is getting smaller and smaller and smaller and I just want to celebrate the rebels in us and really encourage women to kind of you know be badasses and how do you celebrate it in this event it was born out of a desire to create an event that wasn't about fixing women so okay. men are really good at doing this. You have your sports stars or your financial geniuses and you all sit around and think about how wonderful you are. Women go to events to fix themselves. And I got so frustrated with all of these events being about do more yoga, breathe more deeply, look more gorgeous. And it was like, no, we wanted to create something where women just celebrated who they were, that we were enough. That's absolutely 100% correct, actually, you say that. Yes, yeah. you <laughs> so you've put together this clip of inspirational Kiwis talking about courage. Let's take a look at it. Okay. Courage to me means stepping out in front when you don't quite know what the result is going to be, but you've got to take a risk. Undertaking a course of action that you think is right, even though it may be hard or even when the stakes are high. You know, it's the getting up again, open to what every new day brings and, and staying open to the opportunities as they turn up and then running, running with them. Courage for me is standing up. So standing up not only for yourself, but also standing up for other people. Well, courage is just having kids and surviving. <laughs> like being patient and like biting your anger and being able to formulate a way to communicate with someone that might even reflect differently on their beliefs and thus act differently. I think that we underestimate our courage a lot of the time and actually we are a lot braver and a lot stronger than we think that we are. Wow. So what's courage to you then? There's some great definitions on that clip about courage. I think for me at the moment, I think one of the most courageous things we can do is actually step into difficult emotions. There's so much judgment going on and we can feel very righteous. And one of the most courageous things is to kind of let go of our need to be right and meet people where they're at. And then we create that connection. What is the day all about? So someone comes along to the day, what can they expect? The day is literally about celebration. It's about stories. We wanted to put women, and obviously Richie, <laughs> on our stage telling their stories, being real, being vulnerable, being open, because rather than a to-do list of mm -hmm. like fixing yourself, I mm. think we see ourselves in other people's stories. And especially as women, we want to see diversity. We want to see, oh my gosh, look what she did. And now look what she's done. And then we can see it in ourselves. Yeah, yeah I think you're right there. So tell us a little bit about your speakers. Right, well, we have the absolutely incredible Terea Pitt. And when we did our wish list, she was literally on the top of it. Um, her story is extraordinary. And one of the things about her that I absolutely love is that she's redefining what beauty is. And she's redefining how you operate in the public world. And I think for young women at the moment, mm. what she has to say is so important. And we've got Lizzie, and Lizzie was chosen and asked because I think Lizzie is a badass. <laughs> yes. she, she does, she's political, you don't have to agree with her, but she has something to say. And again, for young women, that's so important. Yeah. And then Anika and Richie, all of them telling a story. 
Yeah. Yeah. You, you know, why did you choose these specific speakers? I guess when you dig deep, there's probably quite a few around that you would have, you know, yeah. been able to contact. Yeah. What stood out about these particular people? We had a very specific. We we wanted women um, in particular who walk to the beat of their own drum. Nice. Mm. We weren't looking necessarily for someone who'd been on the speaker circuit for ten years or had a massive great following. We wanted to hear real stories from real women. And we wanted to see that badassery. Mm. And um, Richie Hardcore, I noticed. I mean, he's a great man, Richie. Yeah. Uh, what was the reasoning for putting him into the event? You know, there's a couple of reasons. I have two teenage boys, and it's like I really want this conversation to be inclusive. I'm so wanting to be part of that woman supporting woman conversation, and we have to bring men with us in that conversation. Richie is everything that you look at that a lot of women would be frightened of. And so I love the fact that he talks about subjects like pornography and kindness in the same mm. sentence. He's really quite an extraordinary young man. He really is. Lovely guy too. So what's your story? I have a crazy story. It's very easy to sit and look at me now and think, my gosh, she's got everything going on. Lovely, you know. But I had a... I was raped when I was a teenager and I was smacking heroin into my arms as a 20-year-old trying to deal with the pain, yet I had an incredibly successful career going at the same time. So I lived this double life. Mm. And it was really in my late 20s deciding to live. It was literally that. And then spending a decade and more working out how to live, how to get rid of shame. And now I'm so, that's why I share my story. And I don't hide any of it because I'm so passionate about getting rid of shame. Wow. If you went back and lived your life with the principles that I guess you live by now, yeah. how different would your life be? Oh, if someone could have taught me this at 16, the things that we're going to talk about at that event, if I could put every 18-year-old girl in that room with their mum, it would just make me so happy because they're the kind of conversations I wish I had had mm. when I was an 18-year-old. Yeah. Oh, it sounds fantastic. Yeah, you really intrigued awesome. me. Really. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The Courage Connection and Badassery event is on Saturday, 2nd of June in Auckland. You can check out the She, Sa she Says Events website for ticket details. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you. Excellent. Okay. <laughs>